with the marijuana issue. Mm -hmm. how, how do you give us some some understanding mm -hmm. of where the resolution will possibly lie in that? Sure. Well, this is a hot topic, as you know, in Georgia right now. And that's now. a tough question, I realize. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, no, I, uh, I'm glad to address it. Uh, you know, so we here in Georgia, we have uh, an effort to uh, legalize medicinal marijuana. Mm -hmm. So we've had Representative uh, Alan Peake, who has uh, said, uh, well, passed an, an effort to legalize the use of medicinal marijuana. Of course, you can't get it into the state. Once you have it here, maybe you can legally possess it, but you can't get it in here. He's been working on a bill to try and expand that. One of the points of resistance is it's still illegal as a matter of federal law. So uh, how can we make something legal in Georgia when it's still illegal at a federal level? Scalia actually cast the deciding vote on this back in 2005. It's a states' rights issue. Uh, versus federal power, a case called Gonzalez v. Rach said, uh, well, if the states say it's okay, how can the federal government say marijuana is illegal? Um, Scalia actually uh, made the deciding vote in favor of federal power in that case, so somewhat uh, at odds with what you might see as a conservative mm -hmm. principle. Of course, where drugs are involved, uh, you know, people uh, shift their, their opinions. So uh, a new justice on the Supreme Court could change that ruling. They could decide that the federal government no longer has the power to uh, override the states.